yes, this is the one I wanted to discuss. So Fair. I need to I need, I need you guys to let me know your honest opinion. Is Smash Ultimate is Smash in general a fighting game? It so might like as well we'll, be we can at this start point. Um, I, I want to try to deny it, but no. It's a fighting game. We we can like deny the fact if if two if two or more characters are fighting against each other, it's a fighting game. It, it, yeah, no, it's just like it, yeah, it's yeah, it's just like yeah, well, what's the point of trying to deny it? like who, who am I trying to lie to? Like come on, you need, so, yeah, okay. I mean, I'm gonna just keep trying to but no, it's a fighting game. I don't care if you like no, it's a party game. game. It's, Reusing yeah. the game, it's automatically a fighting game. <laughs> <laughs> so here's here's the thing. I I was actually planning on making a video essay on uh on why uh Smash is a is an actual literal fighting game. It's because like I wanted to compare this this literal same situations what you can find, like like for example, it's a one on one. You can go against the other. No, I don't have to make it anymore since I'm doing. I'm discussing it here, cause like one, okay, obviously one on one, right? And two, so like for example, um, you have obviously you have neutral, disadvantage and advantage, and advantage, just like in a fighting game, and uh, with Smash it's a little different too, cause obviously they have the stage, you know, and you have like, uh, like edge guarding and ledge trapping, and uh, wait, wait, give me a second, Chun. Like you have, um, you have edge guarding and you have ledge trapping. If you look at it in a different lens, that's basically like in the corner when you're doing a block string. So like, because like, uh, like for example, edge guarding block and trying to not let them come back to the stage. That's a that's a block string, and ledge trapping. You can pick every any kind of option. Okay, well, in a fighting game, when you do a block string, you can either do mix-ups. You can do overhead. You can go low. You can go for grab. It's it's literally you can go. It's literally like, a, if you just look on that lens, it's the same situation. I can make it. I can make like, it much easier for you to make it understand why Smash is literally just a fighting game or a fighting concept. There's two yeah. different sports that you can look at. That's literally what Smash is. One sumo wrestling. In sumo wrestling. Oh, oh. The other uh -huh. person out of the ring or knock them down uh -huh. to acquire a point. Uh, that's pretty much mm. it. Smash is literally a game uh. that doesn't have HP, but the way for you to win the game is that you need to push your opponent out of the bounds yeah. of the stage or the blast zone. It, it doesn't matter yeah. what stage you're playing in, even if you play it casually or whatever, that's the, that's the main rule of what you have to do with the game. Uh, a second sport that you can make in comparison, fencing. Fencing, you're in a straight mm -hmm. line, and you you can either acquire a point by hitting uh, each other at the certain areas of your body, or if you push them out of the bounce, you can also acquire a point that way. So, and fencing has neutral as well. You you have to make sure you yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, your strings you have to do. There's movement. There's so much things aspects into it. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. You make fencing into a game itself. I can tell you from now, if they have was a competitive fight, uh, fencing game, people will count that as a fighting game because neutral fencing yeah. is is very very important. Same same thing goes for sumo yeah. wrestling. Uh, so as long <laughs> as you keep that uh, tradition and the concept and turn it into Smash, if there's no doubt, you can call it a fighting game. Just because there's no HP bars and super crazy combos yeah. and stuff it, 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 that's regardless what anyone says if you're versing versus uh, each other and you have to outsmart the other person that's a fighting game. yeah that's a that's a fighting game uh i mean because uh, uh the thing that sticked out this question to me even like to this day because the question technically didn't really i didn't have this question even back in smash 4 but um, what ha what this question stick to me for a long time, obviously because a lot of people still didn't call it a fighting game, at least not com not compared to like now, because there are obviously there's still people who still don't call it a fighting game. Um, but uh, from like in the beginning near uh near uh the beginning cycle of Smash Ultimate, I remember uh I forgot who that person was, where I uh. 
it was in our Smash Discord, and I remember like uh, I brought up the question uh, like uh, you know Smash Ultimate in a way is pretty much a fighting game. I remember one someone, I remember someone uh, uh, dis disagreeing to it, and I could I could see why in this point. But uh, this was back then when, um, well, I, I mean, I gave some points too, but this was back when I had very, like, this is, like, beginning. This is, like, newbie me. Like, I gave points, but it wasn't strong points. But, like, like and that's why I'm, like, well, at least, like, now, I'm, like, in I was encouraged to make that video essay, but then, af but then afterwards, I'm, like, well, one, it was lazy. <laughs> and, like, two, and two, we're, I wanted to discuss it here now since, like, to bring up the, but at least not not really the end discussion. So like we're arguing about semantics. At least that's how I see it. It's kind of like it's yeah, yeah. When people bring up the anime versus Avatar uh, argument. Yeah, 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 yeah. Does, does Avatar count as an anime? Well, traditionally, no, you wouldn't count it. Mm -hmm. It's still an animated show. Yeah. And yeah, 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 exactly. A person's definition of what it is. So it, it's more so uh -huh. versus of personal use of the word versus the technicality of the word so that's, yeah that's, that's why you should see it although in some situations though it doesn't really have to mainly be fighting games i hate sometimes the argument like oh it depends on like your definition uh, like uh yeah because it's because technically with that logic you can apply that to yeah. not just fighting games you can apply that to anything yeah and like it's like it's like okay, well then that lo in that by that logic, th technically like any word can have any meaning, so we could just just stick to the what the word the, the a literal definition is. So just yeah, so from just from a literal definition, Smash is a fighting game. So like yeah, ah, so I've I've, I've had this question like, for a while, but I've wanted to actually I wanted to bring it up on a QRT and when I did that series before. But I, I never found like the perfect segment for it, like the perfect script or for it yet. But like yeah, since I brought it here, it would have been a good topic for it.